Hi folks, this is Jules at Tech Master Assist. I uh, just want to show you how to set up the Google Chrome remote desktop. This lets you control any um, desktop that can run Google Chrome remotely. You can either set up a, a one-off connection setup or a fixed list of machines you regularly connect to. So I'm not going to waste any more time this is how you install it. We need to go to the settings, extensions, and we need to search for remote desktop. Remote desktop. Oops me trying to cut corners. I'm trying to type with one hand here at the moment. Please bear with me. Right, this is what I was trying to get to. Here it is. Chrome Remote Desktop. It's free. Click on there. Add. You'll see over here it's, uh, it's loading. My broadband is a bit slow so I'm going to pause the video for a second and come back when it's Completed. Okay, that's almost finished loading. It should um, come up with a full name once it's completed. It's just installing itself now. Still waiting. Okay, it's there, it's ready. The name's come up, so we can click on it. Continue. So, which account you want to use? Which is that one? Accept. It will ask you if you want to get started with different things. Things you just get, you just click on them. Um, there's two basic ways of using this. Um, I will. Uh, I'm not sure I said in the beginning or not, but you do have to have this this extension installed on the machine you're working from and the machine you're connecting to. So here we go. For a one-off if you are sharing your machine for someone else to gain access to you click on share. It will generate a code which you give to the other person who's trying to access your machine. As soon as they've connected, as soon as they've entered that, it will connect and they've got control of your machine. Cancel that. And likewise, the other end, if you click there, they give you your, they give you their code. You type it in there and you connect and you're, you've got control of their machine. That's the simplest way. This other section here is for machines which you connect to regularly um, so you can actually add them set up key codes for them and uh, add them to your list so here's one which I connect to from time to time and I'll show you what it looks like I've got the key code already There we go, this is what it looks like. This is the machine on the other end. And it logs in just like a normal desktop. And you've got full control over it. And that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, this computer was just simply turned on. I've not logged into it already, but uh, this is what you see. You've got full control. And it obviously wants that updating, but we'll do that some other time. And uh, there you go. This little bar pops up on the other end, just to warn the person on the other end that it's been control, being controlled. And uh, there you go. 
Uh, once you, this is the way you disconnect from here. Disconnect, and that's it, it's done. Okay, it's that simple. It's completely free. And um, it's basically been prompted by the fact that um, I have been using Log Me In, but they've completely stopped their free service now. And uh, I'm always one for looking for free pieces of software. And I find this quite an excellent product, so I hope you find it useful too. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.